Hi, it's Steve with Jetters Northwest, and I want to talk about our wireless remote control here for a quick video. Uh, we've had some requests on how does it work, and not so much what does it do. Well, we know that it starts and stops the engines, and throttles them, and most importantly, it stops and starts the jetting. Uh, but how does that happen? So we're just doing a quick video here to show you. So let's talk about what is on the remote. Well, starting at the top, the most important thing is the pressure on-off button. Well, let's call it the jetting on-off. We put that so it's just handy right underneath your thumb. I can push the button, and if we were running, this valve opens and sends water to the hose and the nozzle, so we're jetting, and the pressure builds. Push the button again, it retracts, and we. it doesn't cut off the water, it basically redirects the water to the water tank. So it's creating a recirculation mode. Again, real simple. Push the button, it opens up, jetting, and retracts, not jetting. One nice feature about this is when you push the button, it gives a full extension, ranging that valve fully open to high pressure and fully open to bypass. What does that mean? Well, sometimes with manually controlled valves, guys don't quite put them all the way on and they creates a, a intense water jet of a little tiny bit of bypass that is cutting the seats of the valve. That doesn't happen with this wireless control. It's very nice and actually we found these valves last quite a long time. They definitely outlast guys that have manual valves. And now on the throttle, we have a similar actuator. So let's walk around the front and we'll show you, we'll show you the throttle actuator. Right in here, this is a slower moving piston that's going to pull the throttle cable for us. And looking at it on the remote control, you can see there's the tortoise and the hare. Of course, the rabbit is bringing the throttle up and back down again. So pretty simple and similar to talking about the manually controlled valves. Well, the wireless throttle tends to outlast manual throttles because so many times it happens, the tech wants to get a little more pressure and he takes that manual throttle and starts trying to crank it a little farther than it's supposed to go and stretches the cable or messes up the actual throttle mechanism itself. With these wireless controls, since they have a range where they just go to a certain limit and that's it, uh, we find they just they last a little, real well. So it's another feature of it. As far as the wireless remote itself, if you're not familiar, um, we've got like a quarter mile range on this. Uh, sometimes over a third of a mile and nobody's jetter has a quarter of a mile of hose on it so it generally can reach wherever the hose can reach even if you got a thousand feet of hose and you have an extension reel um, as we were testing this by the way years ago looking out of here on the street we were walking down the complete end of this, this uh, five lane thoroughfare which goes down and makes a slight dog leg testing over a quarter mile away through several buildings. So uh, a lot of our customers will tell you that we don't have connection problems with our wireless side. It's done real well. But to sum it up, just wanted to make this video to show you how these, how, how this remote actually controls the machine and give you a visual on that. So appreciate you watching. This is Steve with Jetters Northwest. Get out there and get jetting.